Light Tarot. Thank you, thank you, thank you for stopping by for your weekly general message for September the 14th through September the 20th. And of course, we are looking into the Lovebird energy for the second week of September. Angels and guys, angels and guys, positive energy for the Lovebirds. For those of you who are in a beautiful, beautiful romantic relationship for Taurus. Positive energy, please. Positive energy for Taurus. Thank you and thank you. What's going on with the lovebirds? We, oh, we have love and flowers. Yes, flowers will brighten up your space and create a fairy friendly place. Yes, I feel like the, the vibrations of your love energy, yeah, it's getting, it's getting higher and higher when you surround you guys with love with beauty with flowers with yeah anything that you feel is gorgeous taurus <laughs> it's going to raise the vibration of your relationship maybe maybe you're redecorating the bedroom hmm? huh, taurus? <laughs> okay so positive energy positive energy for thank you thank you thank you for singles <laughs> yes, that you saw me shuffled. You saw me shuffle singles. What is going? Thank you, thank you, thank you for yes, yes, Taurus singles. We have love and we have release. Sometimes the only thing to do is laugh or cry. It's up to you. I feel like Taurus, you are holding on to love from the past. Maybe they're not in your sphere. Maybe you're not talking to them, but the energy is still there. So it's time to release them with love into the universe completely. All right, so let's get on to the general message for Taurus for the second week mm -hmm, of September. Angels and guys, angels and guys, we're looking for positive energy, please, for Taurus. Yes, 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 angels, what is going on? What is going on for Taurus for seven little days? May we have one more, please, for Taurus? And thank you, angels. Mm -hmm. Moving on to my mama's deck. You guys know, you guys know my mama's deck. Positive energy, positive, positive, high vibrations for, whoa, for Taurus. Angels, what is going on? Yes, yes, and yes. One more. There we go. Moving on to, yes, a new deck. It's called Ask your angels <laughs> ask or no not ask your angels i think it's ask the angels i feel like these cards are kind of sticking so bear with me bear with me taurus yes yes and come on come on angels what's going on for taurus may we have one more please just one more from the new deck the new angel deck thank you thank you thank you now now let's ask the dragon's deck. You're like, Dora, don't you add another deck. Don't do it, Dora, don't do it. Angels, what's going on? Remember, remember, if it's taking too long, that was actually perfect. You guys know exactly what to do. Take that little button. Yes, yes, yes. All right, angels, we're topping it off. We're topping off the message with the lovely hummingbird deck. The old faithful deck. Yes, yes, yes. Angels, and guys, thank you, thank you, thank you, Taurus. Angels for Taurus. Positive energy, please. Positive energy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. For, for Taurus. Yes and yes. Whoa. Okay, we're almost there, Taurus. Yes, we are almost there. Okay, all right. So, Taurus, let's tidy up a bit. Mm -hmm. Let's tidy up a teeny, teeny bit. And we will get right into your message. All right, so... What's going on here, Taurus? The major theme is the King of Pentacles with the Ten of Diamonds, the Ace of Spades, Creativity, Moderation, Seven of Spades, and the Queen of Diamonds. So, Taurus, 
there. I see you. I see you. You are so in command of your resources. You are in charge. All I'm saying is you're in charge of the abundance that is around you. This might be something new. This might be new money that's coming into your sphere that you get to be in control of you and only you. This might be a new job coming your way. And if it is, I feel like this is something that I feel like this is something that's creative. This is not like, you know, the money you're used to. Well, this is a very creative way. And I feel like moderation with all of this money, okay? With the seven of spades, don't be so fancy free with it. I feel like, yes, this is spiritual money. Yes, this is, it feels like, it feels like this money that's coming to you, it was definitely a gift. It was definitely, and even if it's a new job, it's a gift. If it's um just new money coming towards you, I'm just going to say it's a gift. If it's two jobs, if it's, I, I just feel, I hear creative. Whatever creative money you are involved in this week, please do be moderate with it and don't just kind of go shopping, if that makes sense. Okay, so now let's look into your recent past. Well, you can't go shopping. That is up to you. Okay, so when we look into your recent past, you have the Eight of Pentacles with the Joker and the... Oh, Wow, Joker, Joker, with a special message and the luck card, the five of clubs and the ace of clubs. So I feel like in the recent past, you had put in a lot of work, a lot of work. Okay, and you're like, what did that, what did I get for that? Okay, so we had Joker and Joker. Basically, there was something that happened from all of that work that you did not expect. This was an unexpected thing that happened and I feel like there was a message message behind that. There was something going on that gave you good luck, if that makes sense. Things that it definitely changed your mind about a lot of things and it made you look at things differently. Okay, but this was definitely something that was I feel like this was something that was that that was that happened unexpectedly, way unexpected, but at the same time, it brought some goodness to you, okay? And you worked for this. You just weren't expecting this luck to come into your world. Now, when we look in the middle of the week, we have the star card reversed with the two of diamonds, the jack of clubs, the beauty, yes, 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 um, we have opinions, mm -hmm. two of spades, jack what? A three of diamonds. Oh my gosh. Jack of hearts. There's a lot in the middle. Four of clubs. King of spades. You know what? King of diamonds. Eight of hearts. I didn't expect all of this. And the eight of queen of... You know what? This is definitely angelic. Thank you, angels. All right. So what is going on in the middle of the week? The star card reversed emotionally. You are fitting, feeling a bit unbalanced about a financial partnership. There's something about it that you're not so clear, like maybe it's not being fair, but there is beauty within that. Everyone has their opinions about it though, what is beautiful and what is not. This is, I feel like this is about a partnership and it's about, I feel like this partnership with money is making you worry a bit because someone's asking you to make a sacrifice with the four of clubs and they want, they want you to think a different way about this. And boy, it's a lot of work for you to, to kind of mosey your mind around this new way of thinking. It's a lot of work, but I feel like with the King of Diamonds, it's definitely going to put you, you don't see it right away, but it's going to put you in a position of financial, um, um, it's like I see you rising up in your status in life. With the Eight of Hearts, it's giving you a lot of power, and it's putting you in the position of financial success. So tweak, yeah, just tweak it a little bit. Up here tweak it a little bit yeah, if someone is giving you their opinion don't go to the left and think no 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 let me think about this mm -hmm. sometimes we have to take someone else's opinion and use it and this is one of those cases because it's gonna put you in a really good situation okay and I know I know that stubborn mind is saying no my way or the highway okay this week in the middle of the week change it up be willing make that sacrifice to let go of that stubborn mind okay now when we look at the end of the week we have the ten of wands with the nine of spades the jack of hearts again divine justice 
friends, mm -hmm. king of hearts, and the jack of diamonds. So by the end of the week, it feels like things are like there's so much to do there, and you, you got to get it done. I feel like you have to get it done. Getting it all done is definitely a sacrifice for you, but with divine justice, justice, you have to get it all done no matter what you have to. With the friends, I feel like it is okay to involve friends in this because you have the emotional power to do just that. And I feel like there might even be a little bit of fun involved in this. Now, now, let's look at your bonus. You have the four of cups reversed with the eight, with the, what is that? The page of wands and the five of diamonds, the queen of clubs, the healing, mm -hmm, and growth with the three of spades and the eight of diamonds. So I feel like your bonus is telling me that you are, Taurus, you are focusing on, it, it's almost like, Mm, you're focusing on what matters, what's what the security in your life. You're focusing on things that are going to, I feel like, work out, if that makes sense. What's secure? You never, you're not going to chase um, anything that doesn't feel uncertain any longer. With the Page of Wands, you're definitely on that path for that. You're, you're, you're definitely on that path to changing things in your life. You're a queen of clubs. You're, lis you're listening to your psychic and you're, you're listening to your, your higher yourself. Does that make sense? With the healing, this is something that is long overdue. This is making you feel good. This is about growth for you, Taurus. With the three of spades, I feel there is an element of mm, you're worried. You're worried a bit about changing because this is not your normal. This is typically you kind of go after what is not stable, thinking that you can make it stable, but now I feel like you're going after what is already stable, and that is with the three of spades, that's making you feel a little bit uncertain, but make no mistake, that eight of diamonds is giving you the power to do that. So, and that's a wonderful thing. So, let go of that worry, because good things are coming, because you're definitely making decisions that are based in groundedness and security into like you're focused on security now you any shenanigans coming your way you like uh -uh, no been there done that i'm moving on to security okay so i send you joy namaste and much much love sent your way